Hein a monkey in your pants. Right guys, this is Nitro Nitro on the Amiga A500, A600, A1200, whatever. But it's a uh, it's A500, 600. There's, there's not a Mega 1200 version, but what I can remember or know, or an AGA specific version. Unlimited. This is what I love about Amiga games back in the day. People crack the feckers, so whenever you load them up, you get all these options. Unlimited gas. Let's go say gas. Money, high speed, no. I'm not a cheater. I am not a cheater. Bam, I remember playing this game. With my mates, it's a three player game. Two people play with a joystick each and another one on the keyboard. So, it's probably not as fun on a single player, but I put up an intro uh, a while back and it was decent. Uh, de uh, first prior. There we go. I was going to see what's going on. I'm going to be called something random. Right, so, sorry. Something went a bit tits up. So basically, it's like a post-apocalyptic or pre-apocalyptic nuclear explosion war type game thing. Well, you seem to be racing on roads and whatever and the tracks slowly deteriorate in between certain level sections you get pictures, I'm sure you do like pictures of nuclear explosions or something? I've got no idea, but regardless what Amiga I had on as a kid and whether I was running Kickstart 1.3 or 2.0 um, the, cuts, the pic cutscene pictures always were a bit wonky so I think because we've not had any issues with the roads at this point in the game we're going to go with a racing track and I look a bit like Clint Eastwood with a Terminator Bit slapped on my face. That's what I mean. Look, nice, nice sunny city skies. I'm sure it changes. I love this music. One of my favourite, favourite multiplayer Amiga games. So I'm the white car. The little things that you dodge those, they're like cones, G's, or for gas. You want to collect the C's. Or the flying notes for upgrades. Uh, cheese for gas. I think I said that already. And I'm winning. Oh, oh, and that flying barrel is also gas. This is Micro Machines esque, I suppose, in the same sort of way that it's a top down racer. And I'm humping these boys here. Awesome music, though. Yeah. Winner! And for the purpose of this game, my name is Hedge. I really should pick, stop picking my nose, I apologise. It's itchy. I've got bogeys in there. Do 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 do. So now we basically, each, after each race you enter a shop and you, the seas on the track and the, 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 the flying manners, they basically allow you to upgrade your car. So what can we have? High speed, acceleration, grippy grippies, change your car. You do need to change your car once things start to go a bit off road. Nitro boost. How the hell do you use that? Maybe you press up. Gas. During the course of the game, you basically car your gas runs down. That's why you need to collect it on the racetrack and possibly buy it. Um, I think I will go for some high speed. Did I buy that? No, because it's four money and I've only got two. I'll buy it because save my cash. <laughs> if I had three friends, I would have them, or another two friends, I'd have them round to play with me, but I don't have another two friends. Well, we do have two friends, but it's not like back in the day where you're like, oh, do you want to come round to mine after school and we all play Street Fighter or something? Nowadays, due to the online world of the internet, everybody stays at bloody home in their own little hovel bed. Their own little pit. Oh, it's not a good track. Or a good bit for it. But it, there you go. F1 car. F1 style car. Um, so I think although online gaming is good and great, I think it's it's killed a certain aspect of it. 
Right, maybe that's another topic for another video. Come on. Oh, bonk that bad boy. I want the money. I don't care if I'm last. Oi! That twatting car stole my money. Third. I think the higher, the higher you rank, the more gas you get. Aye, there you go. Look, I was third, so I got 400 gas. And I'm now second in the table. Amazing music. So how much money have I got now, son? Six money. I will buy some high speeds and some tractions, please. So I, I don't know when you have to change your car, but obviously it's, it's going to come a point where the, the track gets a bit iffy and you need a sports car is the other option, um, or an off-road car. See, city's still nice. No apocalyptic wars or anything malarkey like that. Oh, I fucked up there with my... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh shit. I was about to say, who's the best? This is the kind of game that I think would have worked. I, now... Somebody feel free to correct me, but I do not think this was released on any other system. Possibly the Atari ST, but certainly not the likes of the Mega Drive. Oh, come on! I, I dinked that and I got a bit broken. Um, certainly not the Mega Drive, the Super Nintendo or anything like that, but I'm sure it would have worked. It would have worked well. It's a good game. Maybe not as a full price 39 Super Nintendo release or whatever, but... I mean, it's good, it's a fun game, especially when you've got another two people around playing it with you. Right. <clears throat> I think we'll do two more tracks and if something doesn't change, uh, we'll call it a day, because it's basically, you get the idea. But I'm having fun playing it, so. So you'll just have to watch me play it, okay? Right, two monies. I don't want any more traction, I want some... Something else. Fix damage. I think I'll just exit. Come on, Clint. Get in your car, son! I'm sure the other two faces... Oh, excuse me. My internals are combusting with wind. Um, the other two player faces are uh, other sort of recognisable people. Like, um... <gasps> Night time! I forgot about this! <gasps> I'm sure you can get a flying light bulb that shoots across the screen at some point. If you catch it, you get twin headlights. Oh, now it's stepping up the ante. Eh? Bit tricky. Good job for those cat's eyes following, lighting my path, I should say. Oh, 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 sneaky. Oh. Easy. Drifting round the corner. Right, one more track and I'll switch you off, I promise. Then the you get the idea. What I'll do for shits and giggles, although I don't even know if it's the right time to change my car, is... A turbo buggy? I will go as a sports car. I really want to buy something, but I've got no money. I can only buy traction, I don't want traction. No idea what kind of car that's supposed to be. Sports car, apparently. Prepare the race, name Hitch. This was a game that me and my mates, uh, I did have an Omega back in the day, but two of my friends who were brothers had one before me. And the three of us would sit playing. Oh, check out my sexy looking car with huge wheels. The three of us would sit playing this game. Come on! Constantly. I was going to say, I don't know if my car's the best choice. Racing against some Formula One esque cars 
on tra tarmac. But I'm just... That was close. I'm easily holding my own here. Gasoline, some money. Oh, crap. I so remember that in the original game as well when I was back in the day. Oh, Christ. See, so yes, I swear. I went a bit off road section. Those little SAF1 cars cannot do that. They can't, they can't do that. I can do that. They can't do that. I'm a sports car. You winner. Anyway, guys, um, I, I put up a, an intro of this back a bit. Um, so I thought I'd stick up this and show you what the actual game's like. Amazing, amazing Amiga game. Um, good single player game. Meh, it's all right. But really, it's it's designed a multiplayer game, two or three player games, and the game just comes alive. It's awesome. Um, Thanks for watching guys, until next time, bye bye.